everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a logo that has a gradient fill to it, um, which it makes makes it pretty cool and modern. So here's how I am um, some examples that how I've used that technique. Okay, so I applied a gradient to the letters on uh, these sample prototype logos. Oh not that one. Or that one. But that one. There's one. Yeah. So basically I'm just gonna very quickly show you how I did that. So I'm gonna just gonna go backwards just to go back to the beginning of this one and show you how I got there. Okay. So here's my logo, chaotic arrangement of letters, but I want to add a gradient to it. I'm just gonna crop this down. Oops. Select, deselect. So I'm just gonna crop this down. And I'm going to add a rectangle to the top of it. So there's the rectangle there. <coughs> I'm going to add a rectangle. And up here in the fill, I've already selected gradient fill. It's usually default to a red fill, but I'm going to select um, a gradient fill. So you click on the gradient. Then inside this little drop down menu, there are lots of different types of gradient effects. Don't worry too much about the color combinations and think to yourself, well, I don't like any of those because all of the colour combinations can be changed. Look at how the gradient kind of is. So, for example, that one is like a three colour gradient. So I'm going to choose that. Then in this section here, if you click on that, then this box pops up and you can in here change the colours to whatever colours you want. So, so this will be a three gradient fill. So I'm just going to change that one and maybe have a bit of a pink rather than a yellow. And it's going from dark blue to light blue to pink, so I'm happy with that. So that's what it looks like. If you're not happy that there's enough pink showing, you can scale that so that the pink comes closer in or out. So I'm going to just click on that to get a bit more of that colour. And then the final thing you're going to do is right click and clipping mask. And what that will do is it will clip that rectangle colored rectangle at the top to the letters that are underneath okay so you need your rectangle that's colored in the gradient you need your letters underneath and then you do need a background so i'm going to show you what one looks like without a background and show you how you can fix it if it doesn't have a background and your letters are the background i'll show you what i mean now okay so um I think this was the one that didn't have the background. I'm just going to go back in time. There we go. So I'm even going to get rid of that. So I have in this one a background with the letters on it. Now you need to see that as being different to the other one because the other one had its own separate background and the letters were in its own layer. But this one doesn't. The letters are the background. So when I apply a gradient rectangle to it, and right click on it and go to clipping mask nothing happens because it's clipping it to the background the background is square or rectangular so it's not going to do anything so i'm just going to go backwards and show you what you can do if that happens so i have letters on a on a background and it's all one thing i'm going to separate those by going to select magic cut what that's going to do is going to take off um, the white background and leave just the letters. Now you will need to tinker with magic colors. Can you see that it's missing the letter E? But that's easily fixed. If you color in the letter E with the green color, I'm going to have to make that a bit smaller because that's wider than the actual letter E. And if you start putting a bit of green on there, you're basically telling Photopea that that letter E is part of the foreground and now it becomes visible. So I'm going to press OK. I now have a background with my original um, scene words on a white sort of background, but now I have the letters on its own in its own background. I'll show you now how that works. So I'm going to put a rectangle on top of that, the colored rectangle, right click, clipping mask, and now it clips to the letters because the letters are separate to the rectangle background. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so there's a couple of ways that you can do it. Again. Here's, a, here's one where the letters are stuck to the background, so I'm going to have to go to Select, Magic Cut. Um, again, it seems to be missing off that E. 
Can you see that the brush is too thick for the letter E? There, so I'm going to have to make the brush size a bit smaller. Drag it on. You only need to drag it on a little bit to tell Photopea that that letter is, is needed. Press OK. Go down here to the rectangle tool. Cover the whole area with your rectangle. Choose up here the gradient that you want. So I'm going to go maybe choose that one this time. And I'm going to go into there to choose the colours. I don't like either of those colours. I'm going to click on that square there. Um, I want a lighter colour purple. And in here, click on that orange. In fact, that orangey purple really doesn't look that bad. Let's see what other colours we can have. Maybe I do like pink. I am a, I am a, a fan of the pink. And then press OK. And then right, final step, right click, clipping mask. And there you have it. Lots and lots and lots of designs, all using gradients to create a very cool modern logo. Have fun!